This video contains subject matter that may be offensive and disturbing to some people. If you are the type to require a warning throughout a video or show, let this message serve as your warning. This channel discusses the harsh reality of true crime. If this warning is not sufficient for you, consider a different genre and unsubscribe from my channel immediately. This is Dane in Texas. Yep, what's going on? Yes, um, well, I'm calling from a perspective of a retired public relations officer for a very large sheriff's office. And um, that <laughs> the press conference was pretty much a nothing burger. They were kind of appeasing. They didn't give you really any information until the one guy gets off, off script. And then he backpedals, and he couldn't really save himself on that one. I think your theory is right on, uh, even to the phone calls, the reason for the phone calls, um, and because they did not. They made a point of uh, discounting everyone except. And then at the end, um, <laughs> they uh, he messed up. Um, that was a classic. What did you say at the beginning? You're, like, you're, uh, you're somebody that works somewhere? Or? I missed that part. Yeah, retired sheriff's office, large sheriff's office, public relations office. Oh, and really? I talked to, uh, in the yeah. Kylie Rodney case, I spoke to the pub public uh, relations officer a couple times on the, uh, well, through oh. emails and stuff. But in this case, um, you're... That's what you used to do. So you know exactly what's going yes. on there. So this is this is good. This is good. Yes. So and you, they, they <laughs> said absolutely nothing. They gave you nothing and then up until the point but sometimes like your other caller said, sometimes what they don't say or what we don't say is loud. And sometimes more than two things can be true. So, um, like the uh, the nine one one call, it could be true that it was a roommate on a different phone. Mm -hmm. But, um, and one of the reasons why sometimes we won't um, release the 911 calls is because they're just absolute horror shows. I mean, they're very, <laughs> they oh. can be very upsetting. Uh, in this case, I believe, I'm kind of suspecting that maybe um, roommate A came out, realized what was going on, and did what a lot of people do, fainted. Roommate B came out, saw roommate A, picked up the phone, made the 911 call. Because that officer, where he messed up was when he was trying to correct that reporter who said, since it wasn't the roommate who called, he said, no, no, I didn't say that. And so that tells me that it was a roommate who called, but it may not have been her phone. Mm. Well, why did he mention, yes. well, then why did he mention that other people were there at this time, too? Well, when you think about it, college, Sunday, noon. No, I understand that part, but why did he bring that up in associated? Like, why did he bring that well, up in associated uh, with that? Because it seems like he was trying to help, like, maybe it was one of those people. But why would they use her phone, I guess? Everybody has a phone on them these days, right? So maybe, right. You're, maybe you're right there. Yeah. Well, not carrying it on it on you actually if you're home if you're just getting up and you come mm -hmm. out and you find your roommate and she's got the phone mm -hmm. you'll grab that but um but that's i don't know i think we're making a little maybe harder than it's you know more complicated than it needs to be yeah i don't even talk I about the 911 calls I, I that to me it does yeah. the guys that called all that stuff the other two roommates yeah. I, that mean nothing to me at all yes yeah. i agree and also the only way that they could be Avoiding that is if the people that came for lunch or brunch, maybe, possibly, may have been the ex. And if that's the case, then your scene's compromised. The scene is probably already compromised with someone else coming in. But um, they may just want to be sitting on that noise. And then, uh, but I do think that the nighttime in your scenario, I, it seems most logical and reasonable. And often 
that's, that's the case it is. It's yeah, well, that's big, what I try to do on the show. show. <laughs> that's what I try to yeah, do on the show. Is, do it very well. Well, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I try to work through it like that. Uh, it just turns out, you know, it might be something totally different, but based on the information that we have now, that's the thing that makes the most sense to me. Yes. Yes, and I hate to bring up because it's so oversaid, the Occam's razor thing, but yeah. it often is just true. The simplest thing is the uh, is the answer there. It's mm-hmm. not a big mystery, but um, but it does. It makes good um, whatever. But, yeah, that press, they said almost verbatim what they said before. They just did it a little more confident, <laughs> had a little more confidence about it, and it wasn't as emotional. But well, what, when what, what he it, went off yeah. script... Yeah, what do you, well, when you, what do you make of it? Well, earlier they said that the, um, the, the they, they're aware of the call, but they didn't go out of their way to say that it was, you know, the calls that the two girls made to Jack, yes. that they were aware of it, yes. but they didn't clear anybody, but they had just got done clearing four different people, but they didn't clear anybody there. But then later when he was asked, he said, yeah, we don't think that those calls are related. Or something, or yeah, connected. That's, that's where he messed up, and he knew he did. As soon as he put that out of his mouth, you saw his face, I saw his face, and I was like, "Oh, okay, that <laughs> one, that one squirted out, and you can't take it back." But so, yeah. um, you can um, not often tell the truth for the, the sake of the case. So you know, there's that. But they made it very. It was very loud to me by omitting. Um, clearing him hmm. specifically, like they did everyone else. That said it in a, in a nutshell. You, you nailed on that as well. That since you know when the press conference was going on, the whole time I'm going, "Yep, he's right. I think we're there. I think we're there." And then he messed up, and he's like, "Oh, oh no, no, you know." <laughs> well, well, when you say he messed up, I, how do you think he messed up? Like, what are you saying there? Well, um, I think. I think he started getting confident, and it's the old, um, I hate to say it, but I um, kind of like the president getting off the teleprompter, it goes into a bad place, and I think that's what he did. He got off the teleprompter and uh, um, thought he could handle it on his own, and yeah, he. I don't think they were supposed to say anything at all about that phone call. They were just going to not talk about it. I bet there was a huddle before then, mm-hmm. and it's like, we're not going to bring it up, we're not going to bring his name up, and we're not going to go there. So why do you think and he ended up... kind of went there. So when he, when he realized he blew it, he realized he mm-hmm. needs to go the safest route and say they're not connected to keep somebody... Yeah, yeah. Right? Is that what you think? Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he was even real and mousy about that. That wasn't a real strong... Oh no, we we've never thought it was him. No, it, he didn't even. No, it was very weak. It was a very weak kind of backpedal response, as far as I, I thought. Um, hmm. Because I do. Think I got frustrated that, um, with it though, because it's sort of like now we're back into this nebulous, you know, nebulae, yeah. where you don't really we don't know yeah. where we're at. You know, it's like. Yeah, and I think they're all regretting that because I think they like being in a place where people maybe realizing the direction they're going without them having to say so you know Mm -hmm. so that was that's kind of that but i do i think your your um what is that your spidey (laughs) are (laughs) are on on cue on this for sure well thank you well let me ask you something uh when do you guys when you guys are planning your press conferences do you talk like that like let's try to imply something but not really say it do you really oh yes oh really Hmm. there's yeah, there's psychology and there's uh, uh, madness. Yeah, <laughs> to the method. Exactly. And sometimes um, we will have, not exactly profilers, but we're trying to address to the public and maybe a person of interest specifically who may be watching and we'll be having undertone, you know, we'll be saying things that maybe they will only understand wow, that's awesome. or pick up on. So Maybe yeah. you should come so on. There's, uh, there's send me an email. You should you should come on sometime. We'll just do, uh, you know, maybe just even an interview. Well, sure. no, it'd be fun to come on, and then and maybe people could even ask questions. But first, we would just go over like what you guys actually do. Sounds like it'd yeah, be pretty interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, it is. It's very very interesting, especially um, you know larger towns. 
larger city, actually. But yeah, these guys, they do. They've had a very small town. Um, they're probably overwhelmed by a lot of, gosh, when the feds come in and you got the state, everybody's got their elbows in it. And it's a, um, it's a pecking order, and sometimes it's not very pretty. And you don't get a lot done at the very beginning mm-hmm. because of that. You know, people throw around the right weight. And, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I'd love to. It would be great. It would uh, be great. And what, what, what's your name again? Uh, uh, I'm Dane. Dane? Yeah. Dane? Name's Dane. Okay. Dane, C A N E. Yep. Oh, we have Dane. We have a Dana Dane in here, and Dana Dane and a Dane. Wow, that's pretty. Yes. <laughs> a lot of them. <laughs> a lot of these there. But yeah. So no, I will definitely shoot you an email. Oh, that'd and, be great. Uh, um, my honor, but uh, but yeah, I, it's been very interesting, and I'm glad that you have always been kind of the the sound of reason, which is much appreciated. So, well, thank yeah, you. Keep it up, the truth. I'm glad the some truth some of you guys happens. appreciate what how I do it, even yeah. if I can be so yeah. mean. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, I think I think you did quite well. And actually, the last two days you cracked me up quite a bit. I um, I underestimated your humor, so <laughs> well, it's, there you been, go. it's been right on. All it's right. Gr- been, um, yeah, it's been great. All right. right. Well, cool. I will let somebody else call in, and I'll email you and, and good night to all your freaks. Well, thanks a lot. So. Well, you're a freak too, right? All right. Take all right. Care. Good. All right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All see right. You later. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye.